and welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of some animation artwork. Is it a cell? Is it a drawing? Is it both? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I do like these um, boxes with the little tabs. Uh, not boxes, envelopes. Well, I mean, okay, is this is this an envelope? Is this an envelope? Or is it a box? Because, you know, it's made of cardboard, and that, for me, feels like a box. And you might say, well, it's flat. Well, is it flat? I mean, you know... It's just a, what, a 12 by 14 with a very small thin. What are we even doing? Why am I even talking about this? I'm arguing the validity of whether this is an envelope or a box. Anyway, it fills some time. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I do like them, uh, again, with, with that whole tab because you can get things out very quickly and it doesn't cause any damage and you're not you know, accidentally cutting into something, etc. so on and so forth. Uh, just believe me when I say I enjoy those. Well, this is tape is sticking to the table and everywhere else. Yeah, okay, I'm not really sure how this is put together. It's like a it's own little puzzle here. I'm trying to be be careful. When they use scotch tape like this, I'm I'm okay with uh, just kind of ripping. Okay, so I think that's just cardboard and invoice. And then, oh, look at that. So this is uh, Gargamel and Osriel from the Smurfs. Uh, and you can see uh, right here the drawing. They have a couple old scene notes and such there. Uh, but then we also have the matching cell. And that's the important piece for this. Uh, for me, uh, I, I like to show the differences uh, between the two, kind of show the, the genesis of how the animation process works. And so to get the matching cell to that and see the finalized piece is really cool. Uh, I'm going to test and see how this is attached or not to the back. Oh, and that's very, very nice. It's not uh, attached at all. And actually, that's in it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of uh, paper that is removed uh, right on this side here. And that's also... It's kind of nice having the original sketch. Um, I, I think it, it provides, I mean, in a weird sort of way, a little bit of authenticity uh, to the pieces that you can actually match up and see uh, that you have paper missing from that exact spot on here. Um, and so it, it shows that, you know, at one point these two were attached, they were stored together, um, and, and likely, you know, were... were meant to be together uh, and then were used to create the other pieces. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, this will be a cool addition uh, to my collection. Uh, I hopefully um, am thinking about framing them side to side, um, side by side, uh, so that you can see the drawing versus um, the actual cell itself. Uh, that's cool. And the background's pretty nice too. Uh, I don't know that the background actually fits together. Um, if it, it's weird, <laughs> if it does, uh, because the way it is right now, he is laying on a table <laughs> slash on the floor. So I might uh, have to find a better background for this one. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, th I think this is a pretty uh, cool set of pieces. I got it for a pretty reasonable price, and it'll be a great addition to the Smurfs collection. As many of you know, I'm a villain guy, so adding any villain to my collection is always a plus. Uh, and, you know, with the Smurfs, Gargamel is a fun character. I like him. And also, uh, you know, this sort of serves my purposes uh, with my collection of, of showcasing how the animation process works. And so being able to see a cell next to the original sketch drawing and, and see how those interact with one another or kind of envision that process of going from one to the other, uh, you know, that, that serves my purpose. I also like to display them in that fashion. I think it tells a story uh, more so than just one piece or or the other. Uh, so I'm happy to add this to my collection. I don't have a ton of uh, Smurf stuff, uh, and so this is growing that portion of my collection. Thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel, and we will see you next time.